hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it y'all happy friday happy friday i am back celebrating again i can't help myself y'all because this was long time coming as mo3 said a long time coming this was a long time coming y'all and there's so much more information that's coming out right now. So many things. Um, let's talk about it. Um, first, I got to talk about baby oil. The stocks for baby oil have, has went up, y'all. Okay? Um, Walmart is promoting baby oil. They got the whole shelf filled with it. Okay? And I told y'all I've been looking all over the flat place trying to find some and stuff. And couldn't find none. So, um, somebody sent me this since they at Walmart. Wants to let you know that they got some stock. Okay, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Walmart is getting in on it as well, y'all. Okay. They are promoting baby oil right now, y'all. This is crazy. If a y'all, everybody and their mama is talking about Diddy right now. He is the, the topic of discussions everywhere. As he should. So many people are happy. And anybody that acts as if that they feeling bad about Puffy and this and that and that and this. Um, they got some of this stuff in them as well. Okay, y'all? For people to, to defend this monster, you got to look at them as well. You got to dig deep. And any celebrities that defended him, uh, cancel them, y'all. Cancel them. I'm just being completely honest because... It's so many, it's a, it's a few people that's coming out saying something. It's better if you don't say anything if you're a celebrity about Diddy, especially if you're going along with this mess. But um, some people's coming out and they saying, I don't see why he's just because he, you know, into stuff like this. This is why. But what about the people that's not? How do you invite people to your house and get them street pharmacy stuff? And then you record them against their, they don't even know because they spaced out. So that's okay. Yeah, it's some, it's some strange people in this world, okay? But like I said, Satan is busy. And I'm going to tell y'all this. The people that's defending us, you got to watch out for them. Watch out for them that they don't have some stuff in their background that they doing. Okay, y'all? Um, This is ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, somebody, I was looking for baby oil. They, 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 Walmart let me know. <laughs> they got it. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Everybody getting in on this. So Diddy is being held behind bars in a Brooklyn facility, ironically, 2.8 miles away from Junior's. The restaurant, he made his artist walk three hours to get some cheesecake. Y'all remember on Making a Band? And he made all of those kids walk to go get him some cheesecake. And a lot of people was like, this is some BS, but they went on and did it anyway. But he was saying that they had to do it in order for him them to move forward in their career, and they still didn't even move forward in their career. They didn't. They did shows, made money for Puffy, didn't make money for themselves. And this is how he dogged them, y'all. This is how he dogged people around him, y'all. Um, everybody's posting it up now. How many miles? 20 minutes away. Oh, my goodness. I, You know what, y'all? They would have kicked me off of that show. Because I wouldn't have walked to go get him some cheesecake. Ain't no way I would have walked to get him some cheesecake. Ain't no way. I would have caught an Uber or something. Not an Uber, but I would have got a taxi during that time. It was taxis. Because I don't mess with Uber. Uber is a lot of people on there that's ridiculous. People coming up missing all kind of stuff with this Uber stuff. So, y'all be careful with the Uber. Okay, but this is where he made them walk to, y'all. And this is where he's at. How ironic, y'all. How ironic. People is posting up everything. So everybody's talking about the book that I posted up. Everybody's talking about it now. Um, a lot of people saying that it's not out. Is this? Is that? Da, 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 da. It is out. It's called Kim's Lost Words by Jamal T. Millwood for Kimberly A. Porter. $24.99 is on Amazon, y'all. If they don't have any in stock, 
then they just done sold out. But um, word on the street is she is telling a lot in this book. Okay, y'all. Kim Porter's alleged memoir. She said um, Diddy put them paws on her when um, she refused to um, put on a pack of whacker. You know, the, the little pack of whacker that, you know, the people that sweat in Skittles, they put these little pack of whackers on and go to town trying to be a man. Yeah. She wouldn't do it, so he put paws on her. This is what is in the book, y'all. And it's definitely released, y'all. They're saying it is, it has, um, they say it's not, has not been authenticated, but is going viral. The book. Okay, y'all? They about to make some big money off of this book, y'all. And I was like, why did they wait so long to release this book when she passed away a while back? But it makes sense. Because if they would have released it before then, he would have still been out here. It could have been putting bags on people's head that had something to do with it. Now he don't know who's releasing it. They don't know who is releasing it, but the only person that could have released it was somebody close to her, either one of her friends or her family member. And now they're letting somebody else release it so that it won't get back to them, whoever it really did, okay? But it makes sense now that um, why they waited till he got locked up to release this book because he could have put allegedly a hit on people, okay, y'all? Um... The Daily Mail posted excerpts from the book, which tell a disturbing tale of debauchery and abuse that Kim Porter allegedly endured, y'all. The book's Los Angeles-based publisher, producer Chris Todd, claims Kim shared a thumb drive of her writing with close friends, which he obtained a lightly edited and lightly edited a book under the, you know, Jamal T. Minwheel. Um, Millwood. Matter of fact, y'all. Yeah. Okay? Um, the 60-page book entitled Kim's Lost Words claims to be a collection of the diaries of Kim Porter. The mother of three and... One second, y'all. Okay, where was we at, y'all? The 60-page book entitled Kim's Lost Words claims to be a collection of the diaries of Kim Porter, the mother of three of his children who passed away of allegedly pneumonia in 2018, leaked by her friends. It's currently for sale on Amazon, and it's juicy, but it's not clear whether it's a book of facts or fan fiction. Okay, y'all, this is what they're saying. They said it reads like the stuff out of Tyler Perry's BET movie. Okay, y'all? Um, one of the parts in, is about Diddy and his parties with men and women. He hosted parties that were just a fancy name for Mingle Tingle parties. And everyone wanted in. This is why everybody's scared right now. Because everybody that was into this type of stuff. He got, he got film on him. He got footage on him. Okay, y'all? Um, we not only had three, three to the sums. Okay, y'all? But we also swapped partners. Our, you know, Mingle Tingle Sessions life was crazy. But I got to do things with Sean I would never have been able to do with a straight man. So she was all basically saying that he was sweating skittles all over the place. Okay, she not she she got to do stuff with him that she couldn't do with a straight man. Y'all, it's nothing that I would want to do with somebody sweating skittles. That I'm just saying, y'all. It's that package that you get that you can't get rid of. That wasn't brought. That never came. To, to her mind that me dealing with this man and having babies and dealing with him without protecting myself 
that I could have possibly caught something from him because of the fact that he liked me too. And all the people that he was doing, this never crossed her mind. Ain't no way, y'all. Ain't no way. She said um, she was sleeping with a well-known married woman. I woke up and left the bedroom where I was. And Sean happened to be coming out of the bedroom with a chart-topping rapper and the woman's husband. Y'all, who y'all think she talking about, okay? Chart top, top. Is she talking about Beyonce? Is she talking about Beyonce, y'all? Because this is what this seems like to me. She woke up. She said she said she was sleeping with a well-known married woman. I woke up and left the bedroom where I was. And Sean happened to be coming out of the bedroom with a chart-topping rapper. And the woman's husband. Is she talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce? Because this is what a lot of people feel who she's talking about, y'all. Wow. Wow, wow. She's letting the cat out the bag. The memoir gets even more graphic. In one scene, Diddy allegedly put paws on Kim when he refused to, when she refused to put on the pack of whacker, the fake pack of whacker. I guess he wanted Kim Porter to do him. So he put pause on her because she wouldn't. I just can't stop thinking about that night. It was amazing. Can you mingle tingle me one more time, please? Diddy said, according to the book. I became infuriated, the book said, adding that Porter told Diddy to instead of having mingle tingle sessions with a male music executive she believed he was having an affair with then sean put pause on her this was the first time but he put pause on her hard before i could form words she began to beg i'm i'm sorry y'all he tortured this woman and you know what he not only tortured her but he turned her out she got to a point where this was the norm for her to be having all of these mingle tingle sessions with all of these people and then it probably was exciting for her after a while because it was different celebrities i wonder was he getting paid for these mingle tingle sessions and these parties that's that's what i'm wondering about for you to bring women there and have them, you know, out of their man, off of street pharmacy stuff. And just in whatever room you go to, there's somebody in there and there and there and there. And they're spaced out of their man, just laying there waiting. Um, and they don't even remember the next day. So they can go in there and do whatever they want to these celebrities. It's being recorded. And y'all, Shinnika is about to hit the fan, y'all. That's all I can tell y'all. Um, she says, holding my cheek where he put paws on her i turned and ran off that should have been it but i guess i am a glutton for punishment so she says she should have left then but she stayed and she guessed this is you know what she actually maybe wanted after a while wow the book also explained an incident where Diddy reportedly pulled a ba bang ba bang 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 on Kim Porter. He fiercely slammed me to the ground. Then he pulled out a ba bang 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 and set it on the end table. This is what is on in the memoir. He knelt on his knees and got right in my face to say, You are mine. You don't have a choice in that now. I can't live without you. He's a terrifying monster. This is some of the stuff that's in this book, y'all. This is some of the stuff that's in this book. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm starting to wonder, too, is this book just about everything that she was telling her friends? Did they just go on and put this together? That everything, that she, every story that she told any of her close friends about what happened to her, that she really, really 
confided in that they all just get together and just put everything that she said to them in this book just so that she could get justice from the grave i'm starting to wonder about that now y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about that one but rest in peace to kim porter and thank you for leaving all of this mess so that even if you was not here it would still come out and you know what's crazy about the situation she have sons and her sons are still supporting this man and he did her like this this goes to show you what i said about his kids they monsters too and i don't care how cute them twins are i just got a feeling they monsters too and i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all due to the fact that they were going to those parties with diddy dropping their phone in a bag just like everybody else and I'm telling what them girls done been through and done done under their daddy's roof and a grandma. Because now she's being brought in this mess. They said that she was into this mess before Diddy was. So y'all, um, I don't feel sorry for none of the kids. Even the little, the little ones that is by baby mamas even after the twins came. Because... The mamas knew what it was when they got into the situation. You chose that. I tell y'all all the time. My mama and my grandma always told me, be careful. You have a baby back. Because that DNA is something else. And you might think that, oh, they didn't grow up around the daddy. He was a monster. They didn't grow up around him. Blah, 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 blah. Um, They got a chance at life. But that DNA is something else. Sometimes they don't have to be around the parents. And they still going to act just like the parents. So, ugh, only time will tell right now, y'all. Now, on another note, word on the street is, Justin Bieber is having a meltdown right now. Ever since Diddy has gotten arrested, they say this guy is really affected by everything that's going on. And to be honest with you, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I think that Diddy, I think that Bieber is more concerned about every tape that's about to come out now we just seen a couple of tapes that are surfacing on the internet about justin bieber you know on the knees bending the knee y'all as they say on the game of thrones bending the knee to basketball players and all of these people um word on the street is justin bieber was passed around to everybody everybody wanted the pe a piece of justin bieber everybody thought that he was a hot commodity back in the days even if they were too old to be with this kid at during that time and word on the street is um a lot of people wanted to be with bieber his talent he he's gorgeous and a lot of sickos was out here taking advantage of him through P. Diddy. And I'm wondering now, well, there's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to just put it out there like this. That Usher is not going to be on that list that the feds is going to talk to. Usher is sick as Diddy is, my personal opinion. And the reason why I say this is because if you knew what somebody else went through, why would you bring somebody else to the table so they could do him like they did you? And you got on an interview and did a, a interview and you said that you wouldn't want your children around P. Diddy, but you brought somebody else's child around him. So I'm wondering, is he going to get, you know, brought up in this mess too? Because a lot of celebrities was at those parties. And word on the street is there are tapes on everybody. And if y'all think for one minute that there's not a tape on Usher, think again. He got some dirt on him too. A lot of celebrities are scared are they mad right now, y'all. A lot. And I'm going to say this in defense of Justin Bieber. Um, when you have been taken advantage of and you're young the only thing that's going to help you and this is strictly to Justin Bieber is to talk about it you're going to have to find somebody that you're comfortable with and talk about it and get it out because if you get it out you can move on 
And I don't think he has gotten it out the way he should. And when he does, I think that <laughs> there are so many things that's going to come out and so many people in high places that is going to go down for mingling and tangling with Justin Bieber. That you are not going to believe it, y'all. You're not going to believe it. I didn't see so many tapes and footage of Justin Bieber and people just putting paws on him in ways that was weird. Saying things to him that was weird. Even even Nicki Minaj. Now, she seemed like she was playing somewhat. But at the same time, why say this to somebody's child? Would you want somebody to say certain things to yours? Even when Nicki Minaj says some questionable things to Justin Bieber. Asking him if he like curves and all of this stuff, y'all. But she, even saying it in a joking way is still inappropriate, y'all. Okay? Um, if you look at Justin Bieber back in the day and you look at him now, look at his eyes, y'all. He looks so sad. He looks like he didn't been through the ringer, y'all. And like I said, he has a new baby now. And I've said congratulations to him. But he can't even enjoy his child because of all the trauma that he has been through. And I wonder now, was P. Diddy out here big gimping him too? Passing him around to his friends. Anybody that was like, can you hook me up with Justin? Even though he was a little something. I do believe that Puffy did that to him. And I think this is why he is going through the things that he's going through. And this makes you wonder, why, why ain't the parents saying anything? I understand the situation with Justin Bieber because his mama was out here smoking her kneecaps off. So I understand why she would do this and just give, give her child to the industry. But the part that I don't understand is Usher's mother. She's real quiet right now. And there are so many stories coming out. There's stories coming out about Diddy putting Usher in a hospital through these Mingle Tingles parties, okay? There's stories also coming out right now about Usher calling the police on Diddy one day. They got this on the internet, y'all. Usher called the police on Diddy one day. And his mama is running around here at the award shows acting as if nothing has happened. I wonder do she feel any kind of regret for sending Usher to the flavor camp. Or not and not being a better mother to her child. And protecting him from people like Diddy. Or do she just not even care because Usher is making all this money. And he's famous and this and that and, that and this. So she just brushed it under the rug. This is one thing I have the most problems with is the parents that allowed their children to be left with these monsters. Just like Aaliyah. Look, Aaliyah must have been a hot piece of, you know, female. And I'm talking about hot as far as everything. She was hot on the charts. She was hot on the charts. She was hot in movies. And did y'all see her in that big, that picture with Puffy and, I, I forgot the guy's name, that was on, on the other side of her. In the back of Diddy's house, that big bed. And both of them was leaning toward her instead of, J-Lo is on the other side of Puffy. He's leaning toward Aaliyah. The other guy that's on the side of Aaliyah is leaning toward her too. And he got somebody on his arm. Everybody wanted Aaliyah. And Damon Dash, he must got some game out here because out of everybody that wanted Aaliyah, he the one that she loved. And he the one that she wanted. So that tells you something about Damon Dash. Okay, y'all? And that's why he was probably, you know, blackballed out the industry because he had that swag. I told y'all, when people got that certain swag that all the women's like, something about them, probably some good pack of whacker and got that attitude, got that swag. People don't like people like that. They don't. 
they blackball them right out the industry, especially if they cannot control them. Look at Mo3, look at Dolph, look at King Von, look at Pimp C, look at all of these people that were pushed out of the industry, that were lined up, and they were all ladies' men that everybody wanted. Y'all, uh, pay attention to that. And back to Justin Bieber, they're saying that he is having a really hard time since those tapes have came out, y'all. Since those tapes came out, let me turn my phone off, y'all. I told y'all my phone be ringing off the hook. Um, since those tapes came out, they say Justin Bieber is scared right now, y'all. Is there a lot of tapes with him on them? With different people that wanted to be with him? Is there, y'all? Is this why he is, got strung out and was out here smoking his kneecaps off too? Because of he had to do this stuff just to deal with the people that wanted to be with him in that way? Mingle Tingle Sessions? Is this why he's so messed up in the head, y'all? Did he find out later or have he been one of the main people that Puffy has been out here blackmailing, getting money out of him whenever he feel like it because he has all these tapes on him? Justin is already tapes out. And there's probably more to come that's going to be leaked. The only thing that is going to help you find somebody to talk to. And when you find somebody to talk to, let it all out of everybody. That you were introduced to. That took advantage of you. Let it out. That's the only thing that's going to make you feel better. Because as long as you hold this in. The longer you're going to suffer. Sometimes it takes people years. It takes them a long time. To get past stuff like this. I know for a fact. Okay y'all. But when you can talk about it. It helps. And boy oh boy. When Justin starts talking y'all. When Justin starts talking about this, y'all think the shit couldn't hit the fan already? It's really going to hit the fan. When Justin Bieber starts telling all the hookups that he was hooked up with, dealing with Puffy. It's going to be explosive, y'all. And then they are going to have the tapes to match up with his what he's saying as well. That is what's going to be even more explosive about this whole situation. And they are going to put them under the jail for the stuff that they did to him. And it wasn't just Puffy, y'all. A lot of people was going to go down for this stuff that took place, y'all. People that took advantage, especially people that were not of age and they wasn't supposed to have been messing with them. These are the ones I think the feds is going to really come for. And it's going to go down, y'all. It is truly going to go down. And I hope that his wife is ready to, you know, console him, be there for him for every step of the way. But the only way that they're going to be at peace, you see Cassie is out and about right now. They're showing Cassie out to dinner and happy and stuff like that. She got it out. She knew he had all these tapes on her. He was going to blackmail her anyway. Sooner or later, it was going to come out. She accepted the fact that, you know, people going to know about all the nasty crap that this man did. So, she's out now and about and enjoying her life right now. And the only way that Justin is going to enjoy his life is talk about it. He is going to have to let that cat out the bag like no other. And I mean everybody. When he was on Alan, Alan DeGeneres, he was on her show that she was flirting with him. When he was on other talk shows, older people was flirting with him. And he wasn't even old enough for them to be flirting with. But he was. He was. And it wasn't no regular flirt. You know how you see somebody younger and you be like, oh, he's nice looking. He's cute. I wish if I was your age, I'd be chasing you. You know, that's a difference. But when you starting acting like you can't keep your hands to yourself and flirting with somebody that age... That's a whole nother ball game, y'all. That's a whole nother ball game. So, y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned because it is about to go down, y'all. Okay? Anyway, um, y'all, 
prayers up for Justin that he get through all this mess because it's a lot. It's a lot for somebody to handle and don't have nobody to console or just to trust that with that type of information. And everybody saying, oh, Justin ain't going to talk and this and that and that and this. Y'all will be surprised that the main person that they say don't talk will be the main person that come out and want to just light the diddy, diddy up for the stuff that they did. Especially now that he's a father. Okay? He might think about, I never want somebody to put to do to my child what was done to me. So I need to help with this monster behind bars and make him stay there. So Justin might fool everybody, y'all, and be one of the main witnesses, y'all. He might just fool everybody and come through and let this mess out so that he can start living his life. Okay? Don't be surprised. Now let's get to the radio stations and the streaming systems and all of that other stuff that is now throwing Puffy's music in the garbage. Okay, y'all? Word on the street is they are not playing Diddy's music anymore, y'all. This is what I'm hearing. Diddy's more stations are pulling his music. Arrest was the final straw. They held on as long as they possibly could. And then now when he got arrested, because they know them feds ain't arrest him for nothing. Now everybody is going quiet on Diddy's music. Diddy's persona non grata on the airwaves. It seems cause more radio stations have decided to keep his music off their air. With the arrest proving a final straw for several of them, TMZ is posting it, has reached out to multiple radio corporations who tell us many stations have slowly banned Diddy's music. When it rains, it pours, don't it, y'all? With some making the move after the video of Diddy putting paws on Cassie in a hotel surface. So some of the people stopped playing his music then. But now that he's been arrested, everybody is pulling his music, y'all. Everybody. So just stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned because it's going down right now like you all wouldn't believe. The shit couldn't hit the fan and it ain't no turning back from this right now. And to be honest with y'all, I think that they're playing with Diddy right now. They probably telling Diddy, if you give up some people and this and that and that and this, we'll go lightly on your sentence and this and that and that and this. But I still think they're going to put him under the jail, y'all, for the things that he has done. He has messed up so many lives that it doesn't make sense. Look at Usher, how he's getting sued by men and women for giving them packages, y'all. If Usher would not have been sent to Diddy's camp, I don't think Usher would have been being sued for messing with men and women, y'all. And I blame his parents for that. Because ain't no way in the world I would have let my child go stay at no puffy camp. Ain't no way, no how. And it's, it's crazy that Steve Harvey has a little camp now that he's doing. And he's close to Diddy and them too. He has a camp. For the young boys too. Okay y'all. So be careful dealing with these little camps. I hope that people start pulling their kids back. From these celebrities and the stuff that they are doing. Because it just it just makes you wonder. Why in the world would a grown man want to. I'm just saying y'all. Start a camp for all boys. Why? And the fact that Steve Harvey is close to Diddy. It, it, it just. Get, it. Y'all, it sends chills up your spines. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? These parents got to wake up. And they got to start deciding, is my child worth more to me than to keep them safe than to go make money and be in an industry and be around these sick people? Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.